Hello and welcome back to another episode of the DIYGuy.net. Alright, today we're going to be showing you how to install a pet door. A lot of people don't think you can have it unless you have a patio door or a half glass storm door, which is not true. They do make a kit for these full glass or full screen storm doors, so that's what we're going to be showing you how to install it on today. Alright, to start we're going to remove the screen from the screen door, place it on a hard work surface. Uh, you can use your concrete floor in your garage, your truck bed, pair of sawhorses with a piece of plywood on it. So depending on your screen door manufacturer, uh, how do you move the screen is all different. This one we're just going to turn the little knob here and slide the tab out of the way and then we'll be able to slide the screen out. Uh, if you had a wooden frame screen door with the screen molded into it, you need to unscrew the screws out of the hinges to remove it. So the next step once you get your screen door on a hard surface is to take your pet and measure up to their back. Uh, Shelby here is 10 inches. So we're going to mark 10 inches out on our screen. So we have our outside of our screen facing down. We'll go ahead and mark the 10 inches out using a Sharpie. Just a dotted line right there. So now that we have the 10 inches marked out, we're going to go ahead and add 6. That'll be the top of our pet door. So we'll go ahead and mark 16 out. All right, so now that we have our screen marked out, we'll go ahead and grab our pet door. We're going to separate it out. We're going to set this back half aside. We want the front side here with the logo and the locks to lock our pet in or out. We're going to flip it over. Now you see this first track here, I have the marker in, so you can kind of see it a little bit better, is track A. Uh, that's the track you're going to cut out if you have vinyl screen. Uh, the second one is track B. If you have a metal screen, that's where you're going to cut your template out to remove the old screen. So what we're going to do is lift this up. We're going to line this top edge with our solid mark, the 16 inches. Take your time a little bit, get it nice and square in there. All right, so now that we got it all squared up and exactly where we want it, we'll grab a utility knife and we're just going to cut along track A because this is a vinyl screen all the way around until we can remove this piece of screen. You want to make sure your utility knife is nice and sharp. All right, so now that we got that piece of screen removed, we'll go ahead and grab the back of our pet door. We're just going to take some regular clear silicone. We're just going to put a couple dabs on the inside of this tab right there and a little bit on the outside just to make sure we can hold these two pieces together. Kind of just like that, just enough to hold it. Do all four corners. You don't need too much. Now in case your screen gets ripped, you can always replace it and separate it. So now that we got the silicone on all four corners, we're just going to flip it over, line it up, and press it together. So we'll just line it up. Get it started in the track. Once we get it lined up, we'll take a hammer and just tap it together to set it in there. So now that we have the two halves put together, we can go ahead and flip our screen door over and reinstall it in our door. So we have the screen back in the screen door. Next, we'll come down here. We'll slide these two tabs, one right here to the center, and this one here to the center. That way it'll allow the doggy door or pet door to open. Uh, if you wanted to stop your pet from using it, you just want to slide those back out and lock it into the frame. So as far as training your pet, uh, it's best to hold it open, coax them through with a treat, um, and then a couple of times, and then after that, let the door touch them a little bit as they go through, 
and then they'll figure it out on their own. Uh, some dogs just figure it out rather quickly and some take a little more training. So if you have a fenced in yard or a wired or wireless pet fence, this is a great way to give your pet the freedom to go in or out whenever he or she needs to. So that's it. We just showed you how to install a pet door and an all screen storm door. Thanks for watching another episode of the DIYGuide.net. If you just finished building you the subscribe button, click that to get the latest DIY fixes delivered right to you. If you just finished building you the what's next button, you can click that and we'll help you figure out what you want to fix next. You can also click the link in the description which takes you to our website for a full write up.